Hello and welcome. Oh, what happened to my voice there? Hello and welcome to another Kamen Rider Bandai HG review. This is HGSP, a special version for uh, Kamen Rider Tyson GP, Kamen Rider Sango, and well, four in there as well. Uh, yeah, HP, uh, HG, they don't really release these anymore, and uh, these ones are smaller than the old ones and also more expensive. And um, I do still have about 10 HG videos I need to redub, you know, without the music and upload that. I will get to that as soon as I can when I stop forgetting about them. I'll, I'll do it, maybe I'll do them tomorrow night. But anyway, here it is. Um, so yeah, HG is a rare commodity these days. They even stopped, uh, the Dragon Ball Z ones actually kept going for a while after they cut the Kamen Rider one. But uh, even Dragon Ball Z ones they've cut. The only previous SG set that they released for Kamen Rider was a special anniversary set for Black and Black RX with Shadow Moon, so three figures in a different pose. And it comes with, oops, ignore that. Comes with a display piece, uh, the entire head of the Sentry King. Uh, I believe that's the name, the big evil boss. But anyway, that was like a year and two years ago. So and that was like a limited thing, so they don't really do these anymore. A hybrid grade only went for two waves, so that's about eight figures hybrid grades, the one with a little base, and you can scan it. It's like a QR thing, RC, uh, RC thing for a uh, mobile app, and that only lasted two. They did some for... Um, I think one piece on Naruto or something, then those kept going, but the camera went on stop. Well, apart from these two figures, anyway, you also get a, a little uh, Ninja Drive star that was in the movie for like a, like a minute, not even that. And uh, just a quick look on the inside here, you got the gacha on and basic information on how to um, assemble these things. We'll go with the Ninja Star thing first. So here it is. Let me quick look at the back. This thing attaches itself. Whoops! Attaches itself like this. You got this piece in here, and you'd think you push it all the way, all this, all the way in and rotate it. But it, it, at first it wouldn't. So I had to just move it around a little bit until it does, and then rotate it. And then we just plug in there. So you just plug this on your belt. There's a switch here, and all it does is sort of locks it and sort of unlocks it. Right now you can hear it's a click. But if you just undo that, it would just just spin. So, um, <clears throat> oh, I gotta spin it in the top. And this red thing is sort of like a soft ish rubbery piece that you, you have to catch it, do try really hard to plug this on or else it will snap on. Once it's on, it's secure, which is great, but <laughs> um, uh, kids might be, uh, might find this a bit hard to snap onto the essential hard plastic. So, anyway, there it is. Uh, red plastic and gold looks pretty nice, I guess. And um, we got the car and shuriken thing going on because it drives mask there. But, um, for the only release of this thing from the movie, then there's no uh, there's no actual Ninja Star anywhere. There's no DX version or anything, and this, this one's way smaller than than the DX ones. But this is the only release of this, and they didn't completely paint it because if you see in the movie, there's actually quite a bit of paint missing, paint type missing. So, but they did paint the helmet. They did put little red lines on him, and they did put a sticker there. So it, it looks okay, but I don't care for the Ninja stuff, and um, yeah, whatever. So I'll just unlock it and I'll just spin it for you. Ninja, ninja um, something. Ah, I've already forgot. Ah, spin, spin, spin. Eh, blah, blah, blah. Wheel of Morality. Turn, turn, turn or something. I can't remember the Animaniacs things. Anyway, we'll end with Sango because he's cool. I, I haven't seen this uh, four yet, so I can't tell if he's cool yet or not. But he should be okay. So here's Karada. Four, um, not four eight, but four, not Rider Man four. Anyway, here's the Air Rider. Uh, he's a bit different from other Kamen Riders in that his mask actually has a mouth shape on it, but similar to Sentai. Uh, one would think maybe it's a part uh, that they've used from a Sentai mold. Who knows? The belt is very similar to the Ichigo uh, Nigo stuff because just a, he is a Shocker Rider. He's a Shocker Air Force Rider. So he has a, he has a plane instead of a bike, and yeah, I mean. Uh, overall these look okay, I mean they're a bit smaller than the old ones, but the molding detail is definitely all there. Uh, the only assembly required is the base on the foot and um, uh, the, the hip joint, uh, the rest of it is plugged together just fine. Um, you can disassemble them, but they have been glued, like the arms and stuff, they have been glued into the body, but um, you don't have to assemble them when it comes out of the pack. And the uh, paint detail is good enough, I guess, there's, there's more than enough detail here. Uh, the only thing missing really is the compound eyes 
and the antenna a bit thick but that's what you get for having such a small figure uh, the base itself is actually decent um, I'll keep dropping him because I'm messing around with him but um, it plugs in quite snugly into his legs and you see he does stand quite easily so the stand is a good thing compared to some of the older stuff I've, I've messed around with that have really bad stands now here's Sango, I really like Sango but his horns on this figure are just terrible look how thick they are they look way off but apart from that I really like the colouring on him and the belt looks really good, the gold colouring looks really good he's got little bits of chains hanging there so the whole thing looks really cool and for a standalone sort of HG release, like just a solid sort of small figure release I'm glad that both of these are in the standing pose, not in some punching pose or, or rather kick pose I'm glad they're just standing there I think that's a decent way to release just a standalone figure pack really now those of you who watch my channels long enough know I don't really care for statues and I only get these things to well, pretty much butcher them, cut them apart, take whatever parts I need for Lego figures which is the only reason I picked this up. But for those people who do like HG little statues and figurines to pose on their shelves and cupboards and whatnot, this is a decent set. There's a lot of detail in the mold and there's a lot of detail in the paint. They didn't cheap out on that. The only problem is these are smaller than the original HG stuff. They are, however, the same scale as the Forze and Wizard HG stuff. And so if you have those, you know what to expect. Just a tiny, tiny bit smaller. If you pose them, uh, put them in a slightly different shelf, like a lower shelf or a higher shelf, they should still fit in with the older HD stuff that's slightly bigger. Uh, other than that, so uh, so that that's, that's that. Uh, so uh, these things aren't th that cheap anymore compared to the old stuff and also it's a bit smaller. But if you really think that the looks of these are good enough for you, then by all means pick it up. Uh, the only way to get Comrade number 4 in figure form is this. I'm not aware of any other soft vinyl, any other figure forms or chibis or whatever. Sango has this. He has uh, SH Figuarts coming along. Actually, no, he also has the SH Figuarts coming along. But uh, Sango has this and so far he has in the latest release of uh, Comrade 66mm. Uh, he's got a release there which I will be reviewing. Um, it's my friends but I do have it with me. So I can, I'll be filming that pretty soon. So stay tuned for this channel, check that out. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button, the subscribe button and leave a comment below what you think of Kamada Sango. And of course, check out my other reviews. I've reviewed a lot of SH figures coming out. Pretty much every single main combo of O's, every single main combo of Double and Cougar. Well, I'm missing two, but almost all of them. And uh, yeah, so those are, and pretty much uh, every single guy in SH Figuarts I've reviewed as well. So you can check those out too, as well as some of the bikes. I've also reviewed some of the older HG stuff. Like I said, I will be trying to find time to read up some of the old HG uh, reviews I have yet to upload yet and try to complete most of the numbers. Um, the reason I have to redub them is uh, I put some music in them, there's copyright, and since then I've been doing reviews properly and I don't have those figures anymore because I've used them to make Lego figures. And uh, finally, if you want to support this channel even further, please feel free to head over to the Patreon page. I really appreciate that. But most importantly, take care and have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.